Hey everyone, it's me, Diara. Welcome back to my channel. This is another reading. Yeah, I'm back again so quickly, right? I just uploaded a reading. If you've missed it, it's probably because you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Hit the wiggly bell as well, please. It's not enough to just subscribe. Turns out that you have to really... Um, you know, sign up for the significant notification whenever I upload a reading because otherwise you will probably miss it. Okay, let's get into this. This is all about good news. What's the next good thing happening to you? I want this month to be all about positive vibes, being optimistic, you know, like sending out radiating good energy because I feel like this is so important. I mean, really, it's crucial, especially these days. There is so much going on in this world. I think we all agree here, right? Um, individually, but also globally, politically. So if not you, who else is trying to make something good out of it, right? Um, I will offer you three parts to choose from. Okay, and I will, no matter what card is coming up, I will turn it into a positive message for you. We will try to find out what is the next good thing happening for you, to you, whatever. And I will also give us a overall um, uh, message. Okay, if you want to skip this one, it's going to be short and brief, but if still you want to skip it, um, just move down to the um, show notes where I offer you the timestamps. Okay, let's start with the general overall message for everyone. I'm reading from the book. This is the Inner Wisdom book by Louise Hale, and I will just randomly open one page and Let's just see what she wants us to be. Wow. All of my relationships are enveloped in a circle of love. Wow. I envelope my fellow human beings in a circle of love, whether they are living or not. I include my friends, my family, my loved ones, my spouse, everyone from my work and my past, and all the people I would like to forgive and I don't know how. I affirm that I have wonderful, harmonious relationships with everyone where there is mutual respect and caring on both sides. I know that I can live with dignity and peace and joy. I let the circle of love envelop the entire planet and I let my heart open so I can have a space within me filled with unconditional love. I am worth loving, I am beautiful, I am powerful, I open myself to all good. Wow, I love this, isn't that beautiful? And then on the next page we have I am free and at peace, which is probably the result when we do so. So take a moment, let's close our eyes everyone. Let's just sit here all together, virtually connected. Just close our eyes and let's Let's just visualize all the people that we want to cover with love and peace and positive energy. Be open to whomever want to pop up in front of your third eye. Probably a little surprise to you or not, who knows. Cover them all with love, your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother, your colleagues, your friends, your future partner if you're single. And then take a deep breath in, deep breath out, ha. open your eyes and let's start with the reading. Pile number one, if you have chosen for whatsoever reason, the first pile, let's just see, what does Spirit wants you to know? What's the good next thing happening to you? Three of Wands. Wow, things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. 
be willing to travel if necessary. Wow. So immediately I see you, I see someone traveling on a plane. You probably want to go for a trip, maybe a little bit far away, just farer away than usual. Maybe you used to travel, I don't know, from New York to LA, but I see you traveling even further, like from LA to Hawaii or Mexico or whatever, like, is there a place where you always wanted to be? Dream big, pile number one, because three of wands is a beautiful card to get, okay? It is definitely um, positive vibes. I mean, as I told you in the beginning, no matter what card comes up, I will try to turn it into something beautiful, but you, I don't have to try in your case, because the card itself is already beautiful, right? It's wands, it's fire, it's energy. What do you, what are you burning for? What's your passion? What's your desire? What did you always want to do, but you had no time or maybe no money? I see you progressing. I see you succeeding, okay? I see a big success and as the card is saying, um, the, the, the things are just um, turning out beautifully. So you do have options. Um, plan your future. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Usually I'm someone, I'm not making any plans. I don't know, I, I, I think I did a reading on this before, a while ago, where I told you that, hey, you know what, I think we don't need plans, we don't need any big goals, and then we spend a lot of energy in, you know, pursuing them. But to be 100% honest with you, I don't know whether this is the truth. And I have a goal now. In two years, I will turn 50, and I will rent a big house in Spain because I have a vision. I have a vision sitting in the garden of this house somewhere, you know, close to the Mediterranean Sea in Spain because I love Spain, you know, like I love the food, I love the music, I love the language and everything. And I, I, I used to live there, by the way, when I was younger, in another lifetime. It feels like ages ago, and it is, <laughs> it is actually, uh, 30 years ago, I used to live there uh, for a while. So I feel very attached to Spain and I will rent a house, a finca, and, uh, you know, like a cottage, as they say. And yeah, I will invite all my friends to, to, to celebrate my life and how far I have come. This is my vision. I see this table already. I see us sitting there around the table, talking, laughing, probably also discussing, you know, talking about everything and why we are who we are and what we are. And this is now my goal and it feels great to have it. So why am I sharing that with you? Because this is not about my next birthday. This is about you, right? And the next good thing happening to you. And I feel chances are that you can create it. It's up to you. You want to know what the next big thing, the next good thing is happening to you? Manifest it. What do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a journey, a trip? Do you want to travel to Bali or Hawaii or South Africa? Book the trip. And even if it's like five years from now, two years from now, as in my case, dream big. Okay? Set this goal and work on it. Write down where you see yourself in a while from now. Um, and this, as the card says, right? You will probably choose to continue to build upon your successes. So in other words, keep on doing what you're doing or you can do something entirely different. It's up to you. You have different options, right? And you choose. Follow your passion. Follow your, your dream. What else? Stop retreating. This is not the time to retreat. And if you felt like abandoned or, you know, like kind of left out. Um, I feel like since we see the retreat card popping out in reverse, that this period of your life is coming to an end now. Okay. Yes. Maybe you felt abandoned and maybe who knows for some of us, this is the truth. Maybe you were left out in the cold. Maybe you lived the life of a loner, a hermit, but I see this coming to an end. Yeah. 
you see this is the lover's card mm -hmm. so i definitely see you stepping into a relationship i hope you have not yet lost your hope because it's important to keep up the good vibes and to believe that miracles can happen let's take the love oracle deck you are worth to oh my goodness you will meet the one you guys yeah this is it this could be the one mm -hmm. don't stop believing you know the song don't stop believing maybe you want to listen to it today why not turn it on i think you know this song and it has a message for you don't stop believing miracles can happen still it's never too late it's never too early neither of course not but it's never too late okay and you should focus on the positive positive. and you know what I'm going even further here because the card is saying that you probably already know the one who's meant for you you probably already know them from the past okay so what else religious factors is about you know belief have faith and yeah you deserve to be loved okay it's not too late yet no matter how old you are it's not too late yeah free yourself and reconciliation i see reconciliation happening you will free yourself from your own limitations your own blockages your own obstacles right because anything is possible believe it or not pile number one this is supposed to be something uplifting and i don't want to be too extreme here i don't want to exaggerate it but your cards are awesome your cards are mega okay so you deserve only the best believe it or not <laughs> free yourself if you don't believe it free yourself from this bullshit because you do you are worthy you deserve to be loved and you are called to make peace with the past make peace with everyone who hurt you um, that anything else yeah the situation will improve you see and I'm not faking it I mean you see me shuffling life in front of the camera you can't make that up you can't fake this right so your situation will improve pile number one and yeah I think I leave this here this is pretty much your your reading I hope you liked it I hope you could resonate so don't worry you are about to step up you are about to focus you know like to find love if you want to find love because the lovers you know it's a choice it's a decision so if you want love invite love into your life you can manifest it you can dream it and build up a vision you know image imagine yourself being with your loved one and it will happen the situation will definitely improve look for signs right it's not that everyone around you has, you know, a miserable relationship. A lot of people do have a miserable relationship, but you should never compare yourself with those kind of people. Search for the others. Search for those who do live an abundant life, a life full of love, who do have found their soulmates, because it is possible, okay? Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. And I see you on the other side. Peace out. Pile number two. What's your positive message? What do we need to know for you? Pile number two. Your uplifting message. What's happening next? What's the next good thing happening to you? Eight of coins. This is a time of learning and um honing your skills you may feel inspired to go back to school take seminars on topics that fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts this is a good time to change jobs or make a career move the key to success is in the details monitor your projects carefully okay i think some of you already have gotten your answer like even with this one single card maybe your reading was all about the next big move uh, in regards of your career, your business, should you write the book, should you book the seminar, should you, you know, like do this or that training. Maybe you want to become a massage therapist or a yoga teacher, or maybe you want to be, I don't know, a flight attendant. Now is an awesome time to apply because chances are high that you will make it. Okay, this is a green light for all your career 
projects and visions that you do have and whatever you are thinking about um try everything to make it come true if that makes sense okay maybe you have just met someone and you had a good conversation with them and maybe you exchanged your business cards and you're not so sure whether you should pursue this connection or not whether you should make the first step whether you should contact them you should i'm feeling that you really should do it okay mm, do it just do it okay yeah this is the renewal card i see you going through a major transformation four and six makes ten ten is one and one is you know a new chapter not just a new chapter it's a new book literally it's a new um yeah it's it's it's, it's a new script and you are about to write it with your decisions with everything that you do and you don't do you define your life it's not the cards it's not those readings here um it's you you and your actions what else Pile number two the next good thing happening to you you will free yourself eight of wands uh, eight of swords sideways you will cut cords with the past you will free yourself from limitations blockages obstacles you will take off the blindfold yeah this is all about liberation all about freedom it's all about getting out of the stagnation getting out of not knowing what to do i see clarity for you i see you will get the downloads and all the necessary information that you need in order to proceed what else what do we see happening for you pile number two new beginnings a lot of money and job yeah this is definitely about your career i would not be surprised if someone calls you um, offering you something it just happened to me the other day believe it or not I'm a yoga teacher you may know it or not this is my website if you want to google me this is me uh, my website is in German I'm German okay I live in Germany 90% of my people are German so sometimes I get these comments where people are like hey why is your website not in English because I'm German okay but I do these English readings so I can reach even more people even those who don't speak German which is obviously the minority of people in the world um, so this is why I choose English uh, for my readings, some of my readings because I do upload German readings as well but what I want to say is um, you know like yesterday I have gotten an email from a hotel in South Germany and they asked me whether I would be open to offer yoga retreats um, in the hotel you know like once a year just coming there be the guest teacher um, and I was like yeah great awesome idea of course I'm open I'm a yoga teacher I love to teach and this is exactly the this kind of um, you know opportunity that you are looking for as a yoga teacher right um so it can happen to you maybe you will get um invitations someone will reach out um i see really like with your money situation it is definitely going to improve okay this is a kipper card number 11 and it says you will win a lot of money you will probably these days not win it especially if you don't play you know but um if you don't gamble and stuff then how should you win money just out of the blue but you will get money okay that is the bottom line the bottom line of this card is that your finances your you know like everything around your money situation is going to improve right and you will get money money is coming in right um, I see the possibility to start something new. If this is something that you want, then chances are that you will, right, in terms of your job. And is there anything else? Pile number two. What's the next good thing happening for you? Yeah, again, positive messages. You will get an email, a call, something positive, a positive message. And this message is... A game changer I hear yeah it is a game changer 
in terms of your career, in regards of your business. It is com probably coming as a surprise, by the way. Um, could be that someone wants you back. Peaceful solution. Yeah, maybe someone wants you back. Reconciliation. A positive outcome. And this is because you did your work, right? You were able to let go. You Not maybe you were willing to let go. It was probably tough to let go the, the past situation and everything that you've been through in terms of your job and career. But you did a good job. You overcame, you know, all the obstacles. And now, pile number two, you are stepping into abundance, okay? You are stepping into abundance. Wow. So this is a business pile for sure. I see great opportunities for you. I see you stepping up. Maybe this is about, you know, appreciation, feedback, um, incentives, promotion, um, maybe it's about your master, your bachelor, I don't know, could be anything depending on where you're at in your life right now, but it is going to be something positive, something uplifting, someone um, that will bring you further, you know, like it will, it will help you to progress, definitely progress in terms of your business. Wow, thank you so much for listening. Again, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I will move on to pile number three. Pile number three. What do we need to know? What is the next good thing happening for you? A new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes in your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know, will meet, or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. Okay, so the next good thing that's happening to you is probably meeting a mentor, a teacher, someone you can look up to. Someone who will is able to bring you forward, you know, to make you develop and progress in your art, your field. Um, this person, as the card says, is probably quite straightforward, okay, and saying the things how they are. Okay, this person is not sugarcoating anything. If they like you, they let you know. If they don't like you, they don't let you know. But um, obviously, they like you, okay? Because this person is coming as a friend. Um, so the next good thing happening to you is that you will find something new that will fascinate you. And maybe this is exactly what you were waiting for. I don't know. Maybe you were like, oh, my life is boring. I'm standing still. Nothing is happening. You know, um, is this it? Is this all? I don't want that. I feel bored. I feel, you know, disappointed maybe or burned out. So Spirit is telling you that, hey, you know what? You will be pushed into a different kind of energy because you will discover something that feels so good to you that you will be definitely excited about it. Okay? And you want to learn. Maybe you want to sign up for a training. Maybe you want to sign up for a seminar. So again, I feel like this is something related to job. It could be, though, that you will meet someone out of the blue who's going to be very alluring, temptating. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, because this is a love relationship. Yeah, so it could be that for some of us, this is job related, meeting the right kind of, you know, teacher and mentor and coach who helps you to progress. Or you could just, you know, like develop a crush on someone. You could fall in love with someone. We can fall in love with something or someone, right? So it could be either way, maybe both. What else? So I, I see opportunities. I see you choosing a new direction when it comes to your love situation. 
don't give up okay if you have given up on hope if you think it's not happening for you anymore because you are too old or whatever forget about this okay stay positive don't give up it's never too late to fall in love and i believe that with these cards coming out um it is still possible for you okay to find the right person you call it your soulmate or however you want to call it twin flame or whatever i definitely see this this card is coming out so rarely the love relation ship card i mean honestly i'm not making this up it's coming out so rarely i think i can count it on one hand in all my readings and i did hundreds of them what else what's the next good thing happening for those who have chosen the third pile yeah and i just said it yeah here it is falling in love love is in the air Na, 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 na. You will fall in love, pile number three. This is the next good thing happening to you. Full stop, period. Yep, this is it. This is your reading. You will fall in love. That's the next good thing happening for you. A golden opportunity is waiting for you around the corner in terms of love. It could probably be someone you already know. Reconciliation. Probably someone is popping up again. And maybe this person was not ready before. Maybe first time you met, it was just not the right timing, but now it is. They needed a little bit of time to digest everything. And now it is the right timing. Yeah, there was a separation going on. Someone acted in a childish way. Someone did not treat you right. Um... But I see it's changing. Yeah, worth waiting. I see a new chance. I see um, a new possibility entering your life in terms of love. And I love it. This is great. Yeah. New beginnings, the stork. The stork represents new beginnings. Yeah. Something new is about to happen and it could very well lead into something long term. Okay, this is the marriage card. So you are about to fall in love, pile number three. Let's sum this up. So the bottom line of your pile is you will fall in love with someone. You will meet someone and you will feel attracted to them big time right away. You will just know it, you know, like you will feel it, you will know it. Um, they will feel it. It's going to be mutual. And you may already know this person. It might be someone from your past. Not a 100%. It could be, not necessarily, but for some of us, okay? Um, the, if there is a separation going on with someone you actually still love, chances are that you guys will be brought together again separation coming to an end and it's going to lead into something long term and committed yep this is it this is the next good thing happening to you let's talk about this person who is this person who is he or she it depends just very uh, quickly uh, this is a fighter probably they're job has to do with fighting maybe marine army or police um maybe um a surgeon <laughs> could also be right um someone who is all about justice and peace and um maybe reddish or blonde hair Maybe no more hair at all. And someone who is always between their head, their, you know, like their, their mind and their feelings. We see swords here and water. So it's all about, and this person is probably already waiting for you or for, for, the, for, for them to, 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 to step up to you again, right? They think about stuff a lot. This is what I wanted to say. They are very caught into their mind, their thoughts. 
um, they have a lot of expectations and and also I have to say defense mechanisms going on within themselves this is someone who might have been hurt a lot maybe even trauma happened to them something traumatic and they are still recovering from it but the good news is this person is finally lowering their guard and let me tell you what it's really time yeah it's time um, if they not do it now they will probably end up alone and I know this sounds so hard but let's be honest let's face it guys a lot of people live alone a lot of people live alone okay you might want to deny it you might want to look away and not see it but the truth is that a lot of people live alone and they will stay alone right um, but anyway so this person is finally lowering their guard and yeah a person who is very intellectual very thinking about stuff a lot but at the same time very emotional that's the paradox here okay very emotional could be a Gemini just as an example maybe an air sign maybe a water sign maybe both somehow both who knows so I leave it here thank you so much everyone I wish you only the best. Leave a comment, share and subscribe. Let you know, let me know how you found this reading and um I see you on the other side. Bye.